It's the 10th of August, 2016, and I woke up to the internet being completely down. In reality, all I have to get, do is go down there and probably turn on the modem, but or restart the modem, that is. But still, I decided to record these in advance that way. Whenever I do get down there, I don't have to do a bunch of that, and yeah. Because any time it... For these early morning snaps that you've seen me in, like, the one room that's really dark, it's because I'm trying not to wake someone else up. Because Dad doesn't have to wake up that time of morning, ergo he doesn't wake up that time of morning, and I don't blame him one bit. So I try to contribute to his not being woken up by not waking him up. Kind of makes sense, right? So it's official. The internet's completely down this morning, which means I can't get any of my podcast. Today should be interesting at work. I'm home and the internet's back. I've been home for uh, at least an hour, or maybe an hour and a half, but I was having a good conversation with mom. Like one of those good conversations you haven't had with a person in a while. We just, we got deep in several spots, if we'll be completely honest, although I know why. I know what it was. It was what I finished listening to today. Although I did listen to two things since I didn't have podcasts. The first thing I listened to this morning was the Big Finish release, The Two Masters. Oh my god, it was good. I mean, this is a Doctor Who scenario that, as Doctor Who fans, we have wanted for a while, but uh, unfortunate things means it's never going to happen in the television show. Because most of the actors that have played the Master in the past have either passed away or just wouldn't do it. So, the way that they did in Big Finish was they got the Big Finish Master, Alex McQueen, and their one classic master, Jeffrey Beavers. And no spoilers, but a lot like how um, the Doctors will fight with each other, oh yeah, the two Masters did too. And most of it did involve the fact that the Alex McQueen Master really likes puns and the Jeffrey Beavers Master just wants to get it done. <laughs> But yeah, I'll show you the album art for that like I usually do in the next snap right now. But what the deep conversation actually came from was the audiobook that I finished listening to afterwards. This one. And that book is about creating a life plan, a strategy that Michael Hyatt uses to great effect, apparently. And a plan that I, well, <laughs> plan to implement. I finished the book, and yeah, it's happening. I've even already scheduled next Saturday. Couldn't do this Saturday because I already had stuff scheduled. But next Saturday is going to be a day just for that. Because if a person is planning their life plan out right, it's going to take quite a few hours to get it done. So, I've scheduled it. And yes, I'm throwing around the word life plan. It, it, it's pretty much, oh, how to put it short. I wonder. I suppose the best way to put it is you looking at your life, figuring out what you want your life to be, and then planning for it. I mean, the name suggests that, but I, I wanted to at least give an explanation besides just life planning. Whoop, no explanation at all. I might talk about it deeper whenever I actually do it, but for now, it's just a highlight, as it were. But for now, I'm going to take my evening, just do nothing. I, I think I need that. No specific details, but something recently has been stressful. That was another part of what that deep conversation was. It was me venting to mom, because sometimes I need to do that. And she does the same thing with me. We're sort of, um, psychology partners. Let's... <laughs> I guess that's a funny way to put it. But no, every now and then, you just need someone to talk to and go, you know what's been grinding my gears? Yeah, that's what we are for each other at times. So my little cousin was recording a Musical.ly while we were watching Match Game. Um, I tried to music bomber. I guess if you get in the frame of a musically, that's music bombing. Sort of like photo bombing. Anyway, I tried to convince her to publish it, and she, she said no. So I still have yet to be on musically, not even as a cameo. Um, but uh, she did save it to her personal photos, at least, so I got that approval. Before my usual signing up things, two things. 
Uh, next Friday, I'm doing a What's Your Passion interview, so that's exciting. And I sent off a request for another one to possibly happen during Dragon Con, but it did remind me of something. I set myself up a Calendly, which is a service where I can just send interviewees a link with my available times. And then they pick a date, which is good for them, and a time, which is good for them, and it just works. And then it informs both of us of the scheduled time, and there you go. It, I've been meaning to sign up for this service forever. It's just going to make it more easy. Because the one thing I try to do is these people are taking time out of their own lives to do an interview with me. It, it takes their time. So if I can make it easier for them in any way I can, I will. And this interface should make it easy for anyone who agrees to do an interview. And now, after that Samuel's obsessive integration of organization corner, really messy named corner, it's time to say goodnight. Goodnight, everybody.